What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to change the font on your iPad or iPhone device. Uh, first thing you're going to have to have obviously is a jailbroken iPhone or iPad. Uh, what you're going to want to do is open up Cydia. Sometimes it takes a little while to load. Oh, not too bad this time. Alright, now you're going to want to go down into the search function. And what you're going to want to type in here is Bita font, which is B. Y T A F O N T. Obviously, I can't spell, but there it is right there. I already have it. But if you click on that, up here it says modify for me, but if you don't already have it, obviously it's going to say install. So, what you're going to want to do, this is, this is a free, uh, free app. So, you're just going to want to hit install, and then once it takes you to the next page, hit confirm. That way, it'll go ahead and install. Uh, I don't remember if it does respring your device or not. Either way, if it does, just let it let it do its thing. So then, once that's uh, once it has once your device is resprung, you'll be able to go over to the app that should put an app on your uh, springboard, and there it is right there. Just click on that. All right, and there's going to be five little icons down at the bottom, and I'll go through each one of them to show you exactly what's on them. But basically, uh, all you really want to use on this obviously if you have a couple questions and you you need to click on FAQ that's fine check to see if they have the answer for you there if not then you can just go ahead and message me or ask me and I can usually help you with anything with this app uh, if you wanted to go directly into checking out different kinds of fonts you click on the iPhone ruler net little link there and it's gonna open up a little web page and you this this is gonna be your little browsing area down here you can go back to the home, you can go back, forward, or you can refresh. Uh, it doesn't look like this is actually working real well. There it goes, okay. So up here, you actually there's themes that you can download, there's fonts you can download, uh, and they have little different ways of categorizing these, uh, these fonts. So you can go into the most recent, click on that, Now these aren't necessarily the most uh, popular ones, but they're the most recent ones that have been uh, uploaded to the site. And the best way, or I think the best way in order to uh, find a font that you actually like and you're actually going to use is not really looking for them on the iPhone. Uh, what I do is I get on my computer, so I have a big screen, I'm able to see the font, see if it's something I, I like and then if I like it then I get the name of it and then I just come over here and I hit this little search function up here you see click on that and it'll bring up a little search bar right here and you can just type in the font that you like and hit search that way it's a whole lot easier to do it on your uh, on your computer so you can see everything make sure everything exactly the way you want it and then hit the search bar, hit search, install, then you're done. That way you don't have to navigate on your iPhone. Now, basically that's all that you want or that's all that you use on this uh on this home tab right here. If you click browse fonts, basically all that this does is open up the uh the iPhone ruler.net search. So, it's basically just hitting this button is basically what that does. The basic down here tab, if you click on that, that's going to be able to show you the fonts that you have actually downloaded and exactly how you want, uh, or I'm sorry, not how, but which one you want to install on your device. So right now I just have the normal original uh, font as you can tell if you look at that all this right here. Uh, the one that I like the most is called Zecton, so I'm going to go ahead and install that. It says are you sure you want to proceed? Just hit yes, it's going to respring your device. Sometimes this can take a minute. And it pretty much changes every single thing uh, as far as font goes on your device. There is one uh, I'll show you in a minute on the advanced tab where you can change your iBooks font. See, as you can see here, it's changed all the font up here. And it's changed the font on all the icons. So it's pretty cool. I enjoy it, definitely. So let's go back into the by default, all right? And the advanced, this is actually showing you where you want each font to go. 
So basically, if you wanted to change your uh, dial or your calculator into a different font than what you have on your icons or your notes, then you can do that on this right here. I don't really. I usually just use it all on Zecton just because I like I like this font. The usability is good, uh, and th and that's that's one of the main things that you want to check out too. Uh, you can find an awesome font and it looks real cool like the graffiti stuff but then when you when it comes down to usability it's just not it's just not there I mean when you're trying to read something on a web page or anything like that mostly web pages I mean they're gonna be the same uh, as whatever the web page is but you guys understand what I mean uh, it's just hard to uh, it's hard to read that's what I, that's what I mean by usability it's it's just hard to read so it's uh it's not worth it trying to strain your eyes in order to get something. So this is this is what I finally settled down on is Zecton. And over here in the More tab, this is where you can change your iBooks font and Arabic font. I'm not sure exactly what the Arabic font is. I've never messed with it. Uh, but this is you can change your iBooks font if you use iBooks. I personally don't use iBooks, so I haven't messed with that either. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. This is my first YouTube video. If you guys enjoyed it, please. Uh, Please subscribe, hit that like button, and leave me some comments, leave me some hate. Tell me if you liked it, tell me what you didn't like about it, tell me what uh, apps or tweaks you guys want reviewed, and I'll do it for you. Alright guys, have a good one.